morning, Lord Mason. It's your boy, Uncle Jimmy, the original player from the Himalayas. Coming to you out here live from the lab, AKA the treadmill. But look at Uncle Jimmy, baby. Uncle Jimmy got on his blazer this morning, his nice tie, as usual, blinged out bracelet, blinged out watch. And look at that hat, baby. Look at the feather. That's how the old school players do it, baby. Nice fitting blazer, hat, nice haircut. But before Uncle Jimmy get into this today, Uncle Jimmy just want to say thanks to everybody out there that subscribed to the Four Horsemen page. Starting to get a good following. Be prepared for some more stuff coming out from the other horsemen, along with Uncle Jimmy, the original player from the Himalaya. But this morning, young blood, Uncle Jimmy want to talk about why do young bloods get upset if their woman make more money than them? Why is that a problem, young blood? If you got a woman, she got a job, and she make more money than you, young blood, why are you even worried about a young blood? It sounds like a toxic male to Uncle Jimmy, the original player, because if that's your woman, and you're doing your part in the house, and she know you're doing your part, that woman is not worried about how much money you make compared to her. A woman won't, but a young girl will. So listen, a woman won't, a young girl will. Most women understand, you know, that they got a little bit more education, so they might have a better job. But you know what that means, young bloods? That means like, just like she out there on the ground getting hers, get on the ground and get yours. So in no time, should Uncle Jimmy be here, I can't date a woman who make more money than me. Why? What part of the game is that? Woo! So, listen, Uncle Jimmy. Don't go into a relationship, land finance, finances, be the basis of it. Yes, you come in with an understanding of who makes what and what you can bring to a relationship, but again, young blood, a woman will work with a man that she sees potential in that's out there trying to get it. So, you can be a guy working at McDonald's delivering newspapers and going to school, young blood. And if that woman see potential in you, she gonna stay around to see it through. But if she doesn't, that lets you know she wasn't the one for you. And it go the same for you two young ladies, you know. Y'all wanna meet somebody that's already made. These days, hey, guys are like, I got you. You may work at McDonald's, you go to school, but you saw some potential. So as you can't expect to already come into an already made relationship. Today, Young bloods and young bloodettes, it takes two to make it these days. So Uncle Jimmy, like I say, out here looking fit, fabulous, fantastic. Out here on this treadmill, baby. Look at Uncle Jimmy, baby. Fresh haircut. Always got it what you see young boy bloods say, blinged out jewelry. But young bloods, don't worry about anything. Just worry about if that woman loves you. So if she love you enough to get, to get with you, when you're just a paper boy and she stand with you, she trying to see you through your dream, don't let your pride, young blood, cause you to lose some good. Because a lot of time, it's that pride that kills a lot of relationships. So, don't let the pride do it. So with that being said, as usual, as we always end our runs, if we get out here and do at least 40 minutes of some type of physical activity, be it running, swimming, rowing, curling or whatever, get out there and get at it. And get summertime fine, as my boy Sicky say. And until then, until the next run, Uncle Jimmy out.